Okay, let's get started. Our machine was delivered to us in a wooden crate. Our tools of choice to open up this crate are two 16 millimeter combination wrenches. I'll leave the tools of choice up to you. Start by removing the bolts that secure the top panel. Then remove the side panels one at a time. Remove the boxes from under the machine and the packing materials that cover the machine. Inspect the machine for any physical damage. If any serious damage is found, contact CPS Caller right away. Here we see some of the edge trim came loose while we were unpacking. That's an easy fix. Just press it back onto the panels. Okay, now it's time to remove the machine from the pallet. There are three mounting brackets that hold the machine securely to the pallet. For this we're going to need a 17mm combination wrench and what looks like an 8mm allen wrench. Remove the nuts and bolts that secure the machine to the pallet. After all the nuts and bolts are removed, get a co-worker or store employee to help remove the machine from the pallet. Don't try this by yourself, you'll likely damage the machine or worse yet, hurt yourself. Okay, let's open the box that contains all the hardware that needs to be attached to the machine. Let's see what we got here. We got the quart can adapter. We got two small shelves, one for the mouse, one for the printer. We got a Ziploc bag full of all the cables you're going to need. We got a manual for the machine. We got a shelf for the keyboard and the monitor and another large shelf for the computer and there's a few bags of miscellaneous hardware okay let's remove the shelf from the machine that'll give us a little room to work Remove the mounting bracket from the rear leg of the machine. Here we see two nuts inside the track of the leg. They will be used to attach the computer shelf. There's also another nut located higher up in the track that can also be used to attach the shelf. 
Get the two appropriate sized bolts from the bag of hardware. Then attach the shelf starting with the bottom hole. Then slide the nut from above down just behind the top hole in the shelf. With both bolts in place and keeping the shelf approximately two inches off the floor, tighten the bolts securely. Now we're ready to mount the two small shelves. Start by removing the end caps from the two front legs using a small tip Phillips head screwdriver. Unwrap one of the small shelves. Loosen up the four bolts on the shelf assembly so that the clamping device is loose, which will make it easy for it to slide into the track of the leg. Maneuver the clamping device into the track, then slide the shelf down approximately 18 inches from the top of the machine. This shelf is for the printer. Then tighten the four bolts to secure the shelf in place. Install the second shelf on the other leg, a couple inches lower than the printer shelf. This one is for the mouse. The keyboard and monitor shelf has the same clamping device on it as the two smaller shelves. Slide it down a few inches below the top of the machine. Then tighten it up. Now you can reinstall the two end caps. Remove the monitor and the computer from the boxes and remove the four screws on the back of the monitor. Mount the monitor to the monitor bracket as shown and tighten securely. Note the monitor is attached to an adjustable mount. Set it to a good viewing angle, taking into consideration the height of the folks that will be operating the machine. Now we can put the keyboard and the mouse on the shelves. Note there are some Velcro strips that came with the machine. Attach some to the printer and the keyboard to keep them secure on the shelves. You can
you can fish all the cables from the monitor and the keyboard through the rectangular tube as shown. Attach the power cord and the monitor cable to the monitor. Now we're ready to place the computer on its shelf in the tower position. There are two nylon straps that are used to keep the computer from falling off the shelf. Install them as shown and pull them nice and tight. One on each side of the rear leg works great. With the computer securely mounted, we can now plug in all the peripherals. The keyboard, the mouse, the printer, and the machine. Note the blue cable goes to the blue serial port. That's your monitor cable. Now in order to get the machine power cord hooked up, we must lift up the left side panel. Start by removing the four bolts that hold the panel in place. You only have to lift the panel about 10 inches to access the power connection. Once the panel is back in place, we can plug all components into the surge protector. Turn on the power switch of the machine which is located right side rear on the bottom. Then turn on your computer and monitor. Now we can reinstall the main shelf. Then check the auto cap and the sponge is shown, adding some water to keep the sponge wet. This moisture will help keep the nozzles from drying up. Get the sponge wet enough so that when you push on it, it puddles. There are two tabs on the bottom of the cup assembly. Place them in the slots provided in the auto cap assembly. Then give it a slight turn clockwise to lock it in place. With the shelf in its highest position, it'll accommodate one gallon cans. And using the quart adapter, quart cans. With the shelf in its lowest position, it'll accommodate five gallon pails. The shelf has two buttons on it, one on each side. Press the buttons and it will disengage your locking mechanism. You can pull the shelf totally off the machine. 
put it back in, slide it into the slot that you hit the click, pull it out, and it locks it in place. So to go from a low level to an upper level, just press the buttons, pull the shelf out, then slide it in, and then pull it back out, and you're locked in place.